Hello friends. I thought I would turn the camera on today and talk about something that has been in my mind. That is, it's a really cool thought that I think a lot of you might benefit from thinking about. And um, for me to share this, uh, it's an opportunity for me to not only allow you to get to know me more if that's what you want to do, but more so to allow me to get to know myself more because I, I have learned through the years that as I talk about things on camera, or I talk about things to other people, um, I tend to dig deeper than I would if I was just thinking about it on my own. So, excuse me, by the way, I have a man cold, pretty bad man cold, and my family is out right now having a lunch with some of our other family, and I'm jealous, but I'm, I'm not gonna, I don't wanna spread this, whatever that this is. It's no fun. Anyway, so this thought that I have had um, is, who else could I have been? if I wasn't me today? Like, wh what other what other things in my life could I have been had I've taken the different routes, you know? I mean, it, it's, it's, it's kind of a, you know, a normal thing people probably think about, but I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go back a little bit. I'm gonna go back um, into my past a little bit to a big, the biggest fork in the road in my life, I think, or at least the first major fork in the road. And this is where everything is, is could have been completely different. Back in, I think it was 2004, I was working at a pest control place. Uh, it was great working there because I was able to, you know, service people's homes and, and I would sell, I would get sales experience and all that stuff. But more than anything, I took a lot of that time to write and think. And, you know, as I was, you know, <laughs> treating houses to make sure bugs wouldn't come, um, I just, I came up with things all the time. I, I wanted to do something great. I wanted to be a filmmaker. I wanted to not necessarily break into Hollywood, but, but do something that's never been done. Of course, YouTube did not exist at that point in time. And I'd already been in this mindset. I'd, I'd been in this for a long time uh, in 2004. Uh, so I, uh, I tried out for this thing. It was like this talent search thing. It was a complete sham. It was a total ripoff and it cost a lot of money and I had to take time off work for it. It was in LA, fell for it, um, went to this thing and you know, they, they wow you and make you feel like, wow, you're gonna be famous someday and all this stuff and whatever. And then there's all these like talent scouts that are around from like MTV and VH1 and Disney and da 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 da. I don't know how many of them are legit, but I remember I got a call back, even though this whole thing was a total sham. It was so bad. Um, I got a call back from VH1 for this show that uh, that someone was was pitching, and they were looking for um, some some good looking guys uh, that were wanting to be strippers. Yes, I know, I know. Don't. It's not like that though. That wasn't that. I did not. I took the call back. I did. <laughs> we'll get into this. I told my boss, I said, hey, um, I, uh, that thing that I took time off for, I just got a call back and, and I really would like to go to LA to go do that. And uh, he says, Corey, if you go do that, if you go take that call back, I have to let you go. You're fired because you can't keep taking this time off to do these passion projects and you're just going to end up leaving anyway. If that's your passion, you're not, you, you don't, you don't, you shouldn't be here. And so I, I, I talked to my mom and my mom says, Corey, if you don't go, you're going to question yourself for the rest of your life. You are going to always wonder. And she's like, if you don't take that chance, you'll, you might hate yourself. So I quit. I left my job and I think it was 2000, it was 2004. And I said, okay, fine. And I, and I went and went to the callback and they loved me. They absolutely loved me. And they wanted me on the show, but they said, here's the problem, Corey. You're too funny. You are too funny for what we are looking for, but you have a career in this, just not here. <sighs> and I remember going wow, I just quit my job for this. I just, I just risked everything. I, I, I threw it all away. I, you know, like it was tough. And, and I thought, well, fine, I'll, I'll just go get another job. But then I remember I was at this like 
this bar. It was called like the Frog Bar or something. I don't know. It was like in some random part of LA. And I looked at the car that I was driving. I, I looked at all the things that I had and I realized, I was like, dude, I'm not that well off. And, and I want this bad enough to quit. And and there's no way I'm going to be able to get another job because I keep like leaving these jobs to do this kind of stuff. And I'm like, that's it. I'm sick of this. I need to take this seriously and, and I'm going to risk my retirement. So all of my life savings, everything that I had, all my 401k, everything I've done, I pulled it out and I paid my bills with it until I had nothing. Until I lost my vehicle and my, my vehicle got repossessed living in this crappy little apartment I had to get like roommates for this little tiny place I was living in and it was super cramped and and things were not looking good I remember it was bad and I thought did I make the right choice here did I really and I just said who cares this is the life this is the life I've chosen and this is the life that I'm going to live and I'm going to do this and one thing led to another YouTube came around. There, yeah, first it was Newgrounds. I was killing it on Newgrounds.com. Then I was killing it on MySpace, and then I was killing it on YouTube. And then you know the rest was you know history. Got TV shows and all this other stuff, and it was really fun. But going back now, if I if I hadn't have like taken that 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 fork, if I had not quit my job, who would I be? Where would I be? Like, how would, how would life be today? I think at my, at that point in my life, I think, um, I still would have wanted to become a filmmaker, but to be quite honest with you, I was not very good. <laughs> I wasn't, I didn't have like proper training. I, I didn't really go to school for it. I mean, I went to a junior college for a minute, but I sat in on classes. I, I didn't pay for them, but that doesn't count. And I probably would have let that go. But my thought is, I, because of my interests then, I think I, I would have gotten heavier into bodybuilding. I think I would have done that. I think I would have went back to becoming a firefighter because the main reason that I left being a fire, firefighter to become Mr. Safety was because I, I felt like I, I had something more and I was, I was too... This sounds selfish, but not. I, I was too worried about the risk. I was too worried about putting myself in so much danger because the last call that I had been on as a firefighter was a very dangerous one, and I nearly died. And that really woke me up. Like, I, I had to, like, take two weeks off <laughs> to, to really, like, whoa, that just happened. I'm not going to go into it, but it was scary. And everything was okay. Everybody was okay. But, uh... Yeah, I I think I think that's where I'd be and, and and probably probably I would have tried to become a wrestler, like legitimately, like WWE. But I don't think I would have done it actually. I think I think I probably would have probably would have had kids much sooner with someone else cuz you know, I I wouldn't have met Kristen, right? I would have never tried to make videos on YouTube. Probably would have enjoy, enjoyed a lot of them. Would I be any happier? No, obviously, because I, I did this. But I also wonder, like, because of my, pers my, my personality type, benefit of the doubt, let's say I was just as happy if I would have went that route. Let's say I, I, you know, I just found something else. What is that thing? And this is what this is all about. What is that thing that I would have chosen? What is that thing that I would have loved that maybe I don't have now? What is that thing that I would have found? Would I have loved golf? I hate golf. Nah, I would, I would still hate golf. I don't get it. <laughs> A lot of my friends were getting into golf. I don't know. Maybe I would have become a music artist. Well, I mean, I am, <laughs> technically. I'm still making money for or music for money. I do that on the side. I do. But maybe I would have been heavier into that. I don't know.
This is fun. This is this is where my mind has been lately. Is just thinking about all these like other other things. Now let's go like to another fork in my road. So fast forward another oh ten years, twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen, I met Kristen. My life was in ruin because a lot of terrible things had happened. Uh, some things you guys know about, and some things you guys don't. But I was living in a very toxic lifestyle. Um, a lot of which I was just trying really hard to stay optimistic about. And I had a lot of... <clears throat> I was holding a lot of guilt at the time for a lot of other things that had happened in my life. And, and uh, you know, not, not to go too deep, but it was like all this crazy stuff was happening. And, and you know, I was falling apart. And so me, me meeting Kristen, um, she was like awesome. I remember thinking, wow, this is the greatest girl I've ever met. Like, she's so real, real, keyword real. Like, she just, like, is who she is and, and doesn't, doesn't put on anything. And, and I loved it. It was so refreshing and so awesome. And not to go too, too deep into it, but, um, I remember when she said, she's like, Hey, my, my job is uh, transferring me to Alaska. I'm gonna have to leave. And I was so heartbroken because I, I, I thought she was just so freaking cool. And she asked me, she's like, do you, do you wanna come with me? <laughs> yeah, all right, packed up everything. On like no notice, I just said, yeah, fine. <laughs> My landlord at the time, he was amazing. I loved him, he's he a good friend of mine. And every now and then I try to reach out to him, but, um, I told him, I said, I got to go. And he goes, go, do it. Live good. He was amazing. His name was Nayo. Such a good dude. And so I went. And obviously, you guys know what happened from there. You know, Kristen and I went to Alaska, had an amazing time. We, we lived a, a great life. And, and it restored me as a person. It really just, like, changed me and brought me back to who I am and, and, and a better version of who I am. And, you know, now we're married two kids and a mortgage, you know, like, it's like, this is a dream. This is amazing. So now the question again, who would I have been? Like, who, where, where would I be had I not made that choice to say, yeah, you know what? Let's go. What if I said, I can't, maybe I can't afford it. Maybe I, I can't, I, my, my, my heart's not ready for such a change. My, I don't know. So I think, here's, here's what I think would have happened. I had already tasted, you know, success through my career and what I do and, and all of that stuff. What, like what I do for a living is my hobby. It's like, I don't feel like I'm actually working ever. I just do what I love to do. And I'd already, you know, kind of been a wrestler because that's what I wanted to do because it's just so much fun. It's like, you know, physical storytelling, which is amazing to me. And it's, it's art. It really is. Um, and there were a lot of other things that, that I'd done. But I think at that point in my life, I think I probably would have moved back to my hometown. I would have moved back to Turlock. In fact, there was a point where Kristen and I, <laughs> she was helping me look for uh, apartments, houses or whatever it was in Turlock, California, Northern California. So had I went back, Kristen would have moved on. She would have went to Alaska and I wouldn't have been able to go because it's freaking expensive to go to Alaska. I think I would have tried to continue the YouTube thing, but I think my heart would have just been so broken because I, I would have been very much stepping backwards at that point in my life. I would have, I would have been taking a step back, you know, like here I'd had all this success and all this great stuff happen and to go, ah, you know, back to my roots because everything got broken. I, I think maybe I would have called my old job back and be like, all right, Jack, I'm, I'm back. Although Jack would have not had the pest control guy who, who on the, <laughs> the place, he, he'd have been like, 
Mm, didn't make it, huh? No, I don't know. Maybe I would have been a car salesman. Nah, hell no. I would have been a car salesman. I was. I would have been a great car salesman had I had a passion for that, but I don't know. I think I would have been living with immense guilt, sadness, not, 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 not guilt, regret. I would have been living in an extreme amount of regret. And it's, it's, it's hard to even think about like what life would have been if I would have taken that route. And maybe this is why I don't think about this very often is because I love my life the way that it is so much that why should I sit and feel sorry for somebody I didn't become. In a parallel universe, in a parallel universe, there is a sad Corey. Just doing what he doesn't want to do. But let's go benefit of the doubt. Let's say there's a happy Corey. Let's say, let's say somehow it all worked out. Back to that, because that, this is where it's different. What would I be doing if everything had worked out. If I tried really hard. If I tried really hard to stay in contact with Kristen and I stayed focused and I kept, I kept making YouTube videos. Maybe I just, I would have vlogged my climb back up. I mean, that's kind of what I did anyway in Alaska. I mean, I, I was at the bottom, you guys. I mean, everything was so brand new, you know? It, it was different, but maybe I would have been sharing my sadness and, and maybe that sadness would have resonated with a lot of people and a lot of people would follow me on my journey back into happiness. And, and maybe, maybe I would have changed the world in another way in that sense. And then one thing leads to another. I find my way back to Kristen. I like that one. That's, that's what I'll choose. <sighs> hmm. I don't think I would be wrestling. <laughs> There's a parallel universe where I really wanted to be a wrestler. Obviously. There is a parallel universe where I really just wanted to be a firefighter. There's a parallel universe where I wanted to be a pitcher. I wanted to play baseball, but... <sighs> I sucked at baseball. There's nothing, nothing I could have done to be good. Like, so what? I could throw a really fast fastball, and so what? I could throw curveballs like you would not believe. But that doesn't excuse the fact that they would never hit the catcher's mitt. <laughs> that was bad. So bad. Well, whatever. Off, to off, tra off track. I, um, I don't know. I, I like, I love, this is the stuff I like to think about sometimes. And I don't regret any choices I've ever made, good or bad, because it's where this is all, every choice I've ever made has put me where I'm at now in the happiest stage. And, and this isn't just optimistic Corey trying to be like, no, I'm happy. I'm so happy. No, 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 no. This is like legitimate. Because, yeah, I mean, for a long time, I, I tried really hard to just smile when I wasn't inside, when I was very broken. And the earlier days of Dude Like Hella, when I was a nutcase, you were just seeing, I've always, I always said with, with the early Dude Like Hella, for those of you who followed me before Alaska, I was crazy. I would be loud and obnoxious and I was, I was a man child. I will admit it and I've admitted it then. But it's like, I would always tell people, it's just like, what you see of me there is this little, that's the spark. The spark inside of me that is alive, that is the life. But around that is what, there was sadness and there was other things that I didn't want to share because I felt like the world didn't need to see it and I just wanted to make a positive impact and, and, I, and I wanted to see myself. And every now and then, that sadness would seep in. And every now and then, that, that stuff would come through. And, and I'm, I'm an emotional person. I am. I mean, that's why, like, negativity gets to me. I wasn't always an emotional person, but maybe I was. I don't know. I just use my creativity to combat the emotions, which is super healthy, by the way. But yeah, I, uh, 
losing track now. Uh oh, here comes the ADD. I still have that ADD brain. But yeah, no, so the early dude like hella was me just trying really hard to stay focused on positivity. Hella positivity. Remember that? For those of you who were around then, it was a whole series based on a lot of positivity. But what do they say? The, the brightest lights cast the darkest shadows. I don't know who says that, but it's a beautiful quote. And it was so true with me. There were a couple times in my, in my life where things got very dark. Very, very dark. Very scary. And there are things that I just won't talk about with that darkness. Not darkness that would ever affect anyone else but me. Whew. Hard times in my life I have been through, but man, if it wasn't for those hard times, I don't have as much respect for these beautiful times like this, this life I'm living right now. Like I know, I know life in its highest and lowest forms, man. That's the most beautiful thing about life. It's like, okay, yeah, you, you can think about like who you could have been and the alternate routes you could have taken and, you know, who your, your, your other alternate personalities are in the ultimate alternate universes, but it all comes down to it's just it's just life no matter what route you take it's just like you've got to accept everything that happened and, and don't regret it i mean well there, there's some things i wish i hadn't said or done but again it's like the, all those things are what make you you all those decisions are what helped you get to where you are today good bad ugly whatever it is you know as long as every decision you make, and when I say you, I'm talking to me now. Every decision I make now, <laughs> or have always, I don't know, I don't know, I'm trying, um, make it with, with, with um, good intentions. Try to pave a road with good intentions. There was this other quote that I've heard before that was like a really crazy quote about like, like evil people, how like it was, it's like the road to evil is often paid with paved with good intentions or something like that. Not to say that I'm evil, but <laughs> I don't know where this is all going. All right. ADD is getting best of me and I am getting stuffy again. And I gotta, I gotta do that, 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 you know, thing. So anyway, I just wanted to do this. Wow. 22 minutes, 33 seconds in and wow, I've been talking. Okay, well, have fun thinking about your own alternate universes. Don't regret where you are and embrace who you've become. And if you're not happy with who you are, then today, make that change to start pushing forward into a more positive future. You know, like stop, stop regretting things. Stop, stop feeling sorry for yourself. Stop holding so much guilt like I have done. I say all these things because I've experienced them because I sometimes I still do feel guilty for some things, but I'm letting it go, which is good. I think that's what's making me a lot happier is letting go of a lot of guilt that I've had and guilt and mistakes and all sorts of things. <laughs> but that's life. Embrace life, love life, and no matter what route you're in, enjoy it, love it, and try to make it better. All right, that's it. That's it. Enough for these deep talks. I need to I need to do, do the thing. All right. Bye guys. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh wait, that's not how you do it. Goodbye. <laughs> Sorry.